just never knew how to tell you. I would tell be able to what? talk about my Can life. You what I guy guy I ever loved a lot. Yeah, I have a two yeah, arms. You want me to say it out loud? Hey, I don't think he's going to come. Of course he'll come. You know, you don't know my son. He is so unreliable. I mean, he has all these excuses that are so, like, transparent. I mean, seriously, who in their 20s goes to bed 8.30 every single night? Come on now, I am not stupid. He's been through a lot today. When my cat died, I was in shambles, so I can't have it if my father died. Oh my goodness, he's here. Am I dressed okay? He was just at a funeral. Oh, sweetie, you know you look gorgeous as usual. Honey, you're fine. Hi, my name is Rudy. Hey, sweetie. I am so happy you're here. Hi, Mom. This is my girlfriend, Dee Dee. Hi, Dee Dee. Nice Hi. to meet you. Hi, so nice to meet you both. I just wish it didn't have to be like this. I'm thinking, tell me how attractive they are. Oh, well. You go by Vic now? I told Dee Dee to call you Victoria or Tori. Well, I like Tori, but for some reason, Rudy keeps calling me Vic, and I like that too. So, um, you guys want something to eat? You ready to eat? Yeah. Come on in. Come on in. You ready to take him to the kitchen, sweetie? Sorry we came empty handed. Javi wanted to stop after the funeral and pick up some fast food, but I wasn't having it. You know what, sweetie? Thank you so very much. You know what? I may smoke, but I do not eat fast food. That makes no sense. And I told you to stop smoking. Oh my smoking. goodness. Why is everyone so on me about smoking? What is it? Am I the last person smoking in America? Just saying. Wow. Huh. So, you taught Dee Dee our handshake? Yes, Mom, obviously. Your what? <clears throat> our hand squeeze. Now, look, let me show you something. When Javi was little, I showed him his hand squeeze. So, I would squeeze his hand one, two, three, which means I love you. He would squeeze mine back, squeeze four times, which means I love you too. Oh, that's so cute. You didn't tell me your mother created that. Yeah, well, that's because I don't get credit for anything. So, you know what? <clears throat> uh, did you know that Ben and Joshua, they're getting married in Vermont? What? That's so weird. Like, hmm. I just feel like they'd be too radical for marriage. Hmm. Another couple bites the dust. <laughs> so, Rudy, are you against marriage? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, well, like, as an institution, I just think it's kind of creepy and gross and sexist. I just see that as a way to party. You know, if I were ever to get married again, I would probably have a committed ceremony on the beach. And of course, clothing would be optional. That's so gross. Oh, sweetie. Anyways, um, so anyways, let me ask you this. Why are you against marriage? Well, I mean, well, I feel like everyone treats it like it's this milestone, but mm -hmm. it's kind of dated. Like a woman walking down the aisle with her father, then being given to her husband and changing her last name. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, it's like selling the woman into slavery. You know, sometimes a person can feel like that at some point. <laughs> yeah. Glad to know you felt like that slave. You know what, Javier? That's not what I meant. Oh, I know what you meant. You were quite free every week I was meeting a new friend. Here we go. You know what, for your information, I just happened to fall in love with a very amazing woman. Oh, amazing woman. Where is this amazing woman? You know, I did not invite you over here to fuck with me. I didn't want to come here to hear about your future lesbian sex orgies. Oh, well then why did you come? Dee Dee thought it would be a good idea for me to come after my dad's funeral. Well, good for her. I am really sick of this shit, so if you excuse me, I'm out of here. Shit. She always does this. <laughs> Javi, are you okay? You want to just leave? Rudy, is there somewhere I can look up the bus schedules? Mm-hmm. You got some cool stuff. Yeah, you do. This is a really cool room. Thank you. I try. Yeah, when I, when I moved out, I... Well, there was no going back, so I brought everything. I'm 
I'm sorry to hear about your father. It's okay. I didn't really see him after the divorce. So how is he living with my mom? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really interesting. I, I've never met anyone else like her. I just can't imagine someone living with my mother by choice. Uh, you know, you know when, when I moved here, it was really important to me to live with someone that was queer and of color and progressive. And that's your crazy. Happy, cut it out. They're close friends. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, we, we are close. Uh, I think it's really nice for your mom to live with someone that's a young guy in their 20s. I mean, your mom really cares about you. She always says, my son's so cute, my son's so sweet, my son's so funny. <clears throat> I mean, I wish my mom cared about me half as much. I'm getting ready to make breakfast. You want some coffee? Uh, sure. Oh, good. Here, I'll tell you what. Take this one. Um, milk, sugar. Uh, Mom. Mm-hmm. Come sit down. Okay. <sighs> yes. Mom. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Mom, I love you. Tell me about this amazing woman. Um, she's she's been in my life for about two years now. And she's funny, and I think you would like her if you met her. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> 